Hi there, this is Sambatra. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fill the DS160 form. I forgot to post this video, I'm, I'm really sorry. You can check my other two videos on how to book visa here on the desk group. I have given you the links and also check the description. So, first open up the site us-travel.state.gov. Uh, uh, I have given this link in the description too. Open that and then click on DS160 form. This one will appear. Now choose your location and then click start application. Then click next. You will be given an ID. Just make a note of that or else just take the screenshot. And the next step is choose the security question and enter your answer then click continue. Uh, the security question will enable you to recover the application if you have stopped in between and also it will ask you to enter the application id too so make the note of three three things application id security question and its answer that's all and the next step is to enter your personal information mm, enter the details accordingly it's really easy and the next step personal two belongs to the your local information uh, and the national identification number is just you know if you can leave it blank and US SSN number it does not require click does not apply did not apply and US taxpayer does not apply if you are booking from state other than US and then click home and and then the next step is home and phone enter them and then click next next in a sense here in the bottom you can click next to passport or else just click save so that everything which you have entered till now will be saved and then next select the uh, travel information f1 is for students and uh, h1 is for tourist b1 is for business and you can you can find the appropriate class which suits you in this in this uh, checkbox then next is travel travel companions travel companions are for the people who travel along with you travel companions uh, enter if there are any mm. and the next one is travel companions over and the next step is previous US travel if you are travel then there will be an option to choose uh, the, the visa details and then the coming to US contact you will need to enter the person or the university address here uh, so that depends if you do not know anybody uh, in US then you can just uh, enter the details of university uh, and then the next step is family oh one more point I forgot to tell you here the relationship to you uh, mentioned as other and then click next mm, yeah this is about the US travel information choose accordingly if you have traveled then click yes uh, and this is about visa if you had if you were given you visa earlier then click yes and then this is uh, US withdrawn US visa withdrawn or some refused just keep select is no then click next so that it will ask you the travel, com travel companions as I said earlier next coming to travel information and then travel information uh, here intended date of arrival in US is just an approximate date do not uh, give the exact details it does not matter actually but just for the sake of uh, uh, you know application we need to enter it next thing is mm, yeah here the passport information will be asked personal no no us contact after us contact your passport information will be asked no no sorry uh well here one two three four fourth one is the passport option if you want to change them just click save and then go to the previous words accordingly then enter the family details 
click next it will ask you to uh, give the details of relatives who are staying in US or you know not immediate relatives but it will ask you to choose near nearby people nearby people's address so just enter them uh, and next this is also a personal details next coming to work and education add language you know and here uh, this is, is not applicable for most of the people if you belong to a tribe then click yes clan or tribe both domain same uh, those are two kind of two different good group of people I mean different race I guess next click on next and then this is for security and background if you click next then it will go to security and background these are the military if you have any military experiences then choose yes accordingly now security questions uh, remember all these are almost no if you have clicked if, if you have clicked yes then you must read this mostly these are related to you know uh, security questions like you know they will ask uh, whether we whether you were uh, went we, whether you have went to jail or something like that everything will be related to you know a kind of mall practices uh, so choose blindly no because you know those security questions will be uh, for for their security reasons that's all so mostly mostly you should choose no if you choose yes then visa inter in visa uh, uh, your application is focused okay so it is the same case with all the five parts click no 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 And then finally additional contact address if you wish to uh, enter your the contact information of your uh, known persons in US then you can enter or else you can just enter the university address again and then the next step is the service information service information is the information which will be there on your i20 enter that additional contact as I told you earlier uh, it's just the contact address of your known persons need not be the immediate relatives like you know the, the family members enter the details then click next the final one is the student exchange visa uh, enter the details of uh, service information then click next and here comes the final page which is the confirmation page you must take the printout of it and carry along with you in the visa interview and the OFC don't worry you need you need not upload any kind of photo just take the printer of it and in the OFC OFC means a day be a day before or uh, a few days before where uh, you will be checked thoroughly and taken the fingerprints and the, the photo so and the final step is to save your application in PDF format and then take the printout of it just a second yeah if you are left in if if you are left in some if, if you are left in some tab just click save and then you can just come back to the same uh, thing after logging in it will ask you to uh, enter the details uh, of your account like you know application ID security question and its answer and the document number which you have given like the passport that's all i hope this very helps a lot thank you very much for watching uh, don't forget to check out my other two videos on how you can book a us visa it's really easy you just need to have this uh, you know a ds160 number uh, so make a note uh, here i have given uh, the links to those two videos hope that helps have a great day bye bye